Hi everyone, I'm Chen Chen. I'm presenting our paper, International Back Mountain Sense Learning on Host Light Pathological Images. This is a joint work with Zhi Miao, Hong Yu, Yi, and Chang Wen. The code is available now. Here is a quick review. We present a new three-stage paradigm for multi-instance learning. We're trying to solve the biased back prediction problem. It can be caused by the dataset bias. For example, the co-occurrence of color patterns and labels. It can also be caused by the unreasonable attention maps. From the color lens, the actual reason is that the confounder opens the backdoor path. Thus, we solve the problem by the backdoor adjustment formulation. As a result, our method brings condensed improvements to all state of art, and it can also empower non-parametric baselines. There are mainly two reasons for making the host line image analysis as a multiple instance learning problem. First, to make the training feasible, we need to pre-process these gigapixel host line images into small patches and transfer a single image into multiple patches. And second, the diagnosed result of the host line image may always exist in the clinical daily routines. However, the fine-grained annotations at patches or even pixel levels are usually unavailable. And therefore, the host line images is called back and the patches are called instances. During training, we can only have the supervision at the back level. The prevalent back-level multi-instance learning for host line images are usually in the two-stage paradigm. In the first stage, each instance is embedded into vectors by a feature extractor. And in the second stage, the instance features are aggregated as a back-level feature for downstream tasks. The existing works are proposed to improve these two stages respectively. And it is convinced that learning better instance features and modeling more accurate instance relationships can bring better performance of multiple instance learning. While we have witnessed these great efforts, they still suffer from the problem of biased back classification. Here are two evidences. The first is the dataset bias. For example, if most of the instances in the positive bags are stained pink, but in negative bags, instances are stained purple, the co-occurrence of specific color patterns and the labels may mislead the model. Instead of learning the relations of instances, the model may think the more pink instance a bag contains, the more likely it is a positive bag. The another example is that even the prediction is correct, the underlying visual attention is not reasonable. As can be seen, the high attention scores are put on the disease relevant instances, which is outside the blue curves in the back. And we argue the bias is caused by the back contextual prior. The information shared by the bags of the same class but irrelevant to the label and we try to find a more efficient mechanism for multiple instance learning. In short, we try to learn the correlative for bags and labels. To achieve this, we first need to translate the MIL problem into causal languages, the structural causal graph, where each node is a variable and the link is causality. And for our problem, we have three nodes. Here, X is back, Y is a prediction, and C is a back contextual prior. And the link C to X means the data generation process. And the link X to Y indicates that the prediction is determined by the back con content. The link C to Y indicates the back is also affected by the back contextual prior. And note that the confounder C opens a backdoor shortcut, which causes the spurious correlation between X and Y. Here is our solution, Interventional Back Multi-Instance Learning, or IBMIL, uh, which is a new three-stage paradigm. 
The main difference is that we add another stage of interventional training. This is the key to suppress the compounding bias by cutting off the backdoor shortcut, which means we won't allow the model to learn the soberous correlations between X and Y. And therefore, our IBML is fundamentally different from the existing schemes, as they are mainly based on the association or likelihood, while we use a causal intervention for back prediction, which means we want to pursue the true causality between X and Y. When we achieve the interventional training via the backdoor adjustment formulation, and this is our implementation, I will introduce it step by step. And first, we conduct the clustering on the back features and use the prototypes to approximate the confounder set. Second, we need to fuse the features of confounder set in the back which is achieved by the cross attention. Third, we define a prior distribution for the confounders. We use the uniform distribution by default. And last, we need to absorb the expectation to avoid the expensive cost, and we apply normalized weighted geometric mean for approximation. And here is our main experiment. And we choose three feature extractors, include convolutional neural network, transformer-based network, and the hybrid network. And we also use four sorti aggregators. As can be seen, our, our method can bring consistent improvement under all situations. And our method can also empower the non-parametric baseline, such as max pooling and min pooling. And although we do not explicitly constrain the learning of attention, we do observe the potentially better attention maps. And for more details, please refer to our paper. Thank you for your listening.